Rogue Tear, we still winning. Magic Card, oh, we extending. Dark Law, he's still contending. So you get peoples, welcome to the commentary. This is me trying to get Cosmos Neos to work with a new idea that I had. Unfortunately, I ended up missing top cut by one win in the final round, which y'all will also see that match and see the big play mistake that I made that kept me from making top eight. So, you know, this deck right here is me trying to use Neo Space Connector to take advantage of a Soul Day and, you know, use that to make the deck a little bit more consistent. So, a hero lives for Stratos. Go ahead and search out that Shadow Mist. And now, like I said, I'm trying to make a Soul Day. And the guys, you know, he's kind of um, starting back in Yu-Gi-Oh! So, you know, yeah. So... We got Dolphin here. I didn't draw the Neo Space Connector, but we're going to pitch the Shadow Miss. I'm going to take a look at his hand, and he's got the Adventure Engine with the Dragon Link Engine. So, yeah, there's no point in discarding the, the Water Lady. And then this dude, the Destrudo, he can special summon himself from Graveyard also. So I'll go ahead and get rid of the Wyvern here. But I see that I'm pretty clear to go ahead and just go you know maximum combo here he doesn't have any hand traps or anything to stop me I'll go ahead and get shadow miss effect in order to get elemental hero spirit of neos and you know one thing i noticed when i'm playing this deck is like my inborn does not end up being what i want it to be i kind of mess up a little bit so you know we're going to special summon the fire flint lady there we're going to go ahead and make a soul day and you know one of the things i have to constantly think about is even though I, um, what is it? The spirit of Neos is in my hand. I kind of want to add it off of a soul day. I got to remember that I can't activate his effect even if I do search him with a soul day. So I'm going to go ahead and search the Neo space connector there, which I did that. I'm not sure if that's this game or another game I did it in where I should have searched something else and it ended up costing me the game as well. So yeah, there's a lot of things I have to remember. And as you can see, there are, I send two equip cards. I send the divine sword. I'm going to go ahead and send the Durandale blade because there's only one fire flint lady in here and only one Durandale. And so there's no point in leaving that inside my deck. The other, Equip card that I have in deck happens to be Fossil Dig. I wanted to use three equips that way in case I drew one, I would still be able to special summon. And I accidentally summoned <laughs> the Spirit of Neos there, which was an accident. I'm going to recognize it here in a second because it's actually supposed to special summon the, um, it's actually supposed to special summon the, what's his name? Uh, Crosskeeper. I'm about to notice it in a second. My apologies. So I accidentally, I'm like looking inside my graveyard. I'm like, wait a second. It's supposed to be the crosskeeper. So there goes the crosskeeper there. And then I'm supposed to use that to special summon the spirit of Neos. Which, looking at the video now, I think I should have special summoned the spirit of Neos from my hand instead of the one inside my deck. But it's not that it'll make much difference. So I'll go ahead and bring out that Inferno Divisor there to show the nebula needles to grab the the um what's his name to grab the mole and to grab the panther and so as y'all know now we have access to um all of those i didn't special summon the normal neos because there's only one in deck and i had neos fusion in hand and so you know that's the reason why i didn't special summon the vanilla neo so i'm going to go ahead and send connector send the neos to trigger this way i can special summon the elemental hero and trigger the cross keeper to draw two and put one back at the bottom and yep so as y'all can see i got the full combo thing here and I don't even think that I search off of my spirit of Neos. Like I took this turn was really bad, y'all. I'm so sorry. I apologize. But I don't even think I searched correctly when I did that. Well, uh, this turn was all kind of fucked up. But at the end, even if I if I had been able to add the um if I had been able to add the the favorite contact you know it just would have gave me an extra card and then there the card i was about to activate was pride of prosperity and then i remembered i activated crosskeeper and i can't draw this turn so i did not i've put the pot of prosperity back in my hand i already had the favorite contact and now i'm gonna flip it up and uh, stand by phase i always do it in standby phase just in case he does have you know something i don't know 
and we're gonna reveal of course the neos the three neo spatians and we're gonna special summon out cosmos neos and of course most people don't know what the hell this card is but as y'all can see like my inboard you know it's really weird because i have a soul day out there and i have inferno divisor out there and they're both link twos where i should have had appaloosa inside of my extra deck so that i could you know make a two negate appaloosa with these two because it would be cool if i could make a three negate one but with neo's fusion you know you can't special summon anymore after the turn that you activate that card so yeah the neo's is just there kind of for the extra draw you know because i do need to be able to special summon an elemental hero when i um to get his draw effect so yeah he's kind of reading the card trying to get a understanding you know i'm trying to let him know and he was asking about the shuffle in thing if it was going to banish all his cards but because of favorite contact it won't get shuffled into the deck so he's going to end up just setting two cards here because he can't activate anything and you know this is pretty much like the end of the game right here you know pretty much after you do that there's not much you can do and he's asking for a judge i think he was wanting he well, i can't remember exactly what it was he wanted to judge for but i was just like hey yeah you can ask somebody if you really want to so go ahead and draw and like i said this will pretty much be the end of the game we went like the full combo there and i'm gonna go ahead and link into unicorn I'm going to unicorn away his back row just in case he drew something crazy. And then I am going to normal summon that connector that I have. And I could. Do I special summon the dolphin? I do believe I go ahead and special summon the dolphin. That's one of the cool things about this is like the Neos connector is usually not dead because with favorite contact, you special, you shuffle the dolphin back to the bottom of the deck. So, you know, the next turn, I'm still able to use that. Look and make sure that he still doesn't have anything crazy. Go ahead and get rid of that. Then we can use the dolphin and the unicorn to go ahead and make access code talker. And so now we have Cosmos Neos, um, Brave Neos, and access code talker, and Neo Space Connector. We're going to go ahead and use access code talker effect to go ahead and pop the little lady and then that'll be the end of that game so yeah even though i made a couple play mistakes and you know messed up a lot we still did exactly what we wanted to do and was able to win the game all right so side decking done cutting each other's deck and we're going into game two here he is going to go ahead and start the game two and since he's on dragon link you know i just I don't think I'm really... Am I playing any hand traps? I think I sided in Ghost Bell, maybe, but I'm not really playing any hand traps in this deck. There just wasn't too much room for it. I just decided to go with, like, kind of, like, board breakers. And I think even, like, the only ones I ended up being able to fit inside the deck were, like, three droplets and then, like, two triple tactics talents. But, you know, that'll work. So, you know, he's going to start off with um, rocket stuff, of course, and, you know, he put the boot sector lush thing down there, but I think he we realized later that, you know, it should be in a field car zone. But I figured it wasn't going to be there for too long. So, you know, there was no point in, you know, just like wasting time by pointing that out. So, yeah, we both know what it does and where it's supposed to be. And then he's going to Romulus for the ravine in which he realized, yeah, this needs to be over here. Ravine. And, you know, one thing I can say is that he didn't end up drawing the adventure engine which you know is fine by me so down the apps router to go ahead and search the tracer and then he's going to go ahead and activate the effect of chaos dragon levenir to remove three darks to shuffle a card into my deck and i think like there was two really good cards that he could have hit and he did not hit one of them he hit the card that i was perfectly fine with him hitting so yeah i was happy about that and then he's going to go ahead and go ahead and make the what's his name the link the link to the heraclemos whatever that thing the spear or whatever and stuff i think he was trying to like i'm not too sure like how um familiar he is with his deck you know but i believe he said that he hadn't played for a long time and so you know he's just getting used to doing it again because i'm not sure if there was like more he could have done 
at this stage and point, but he brings out the little bounce guy, which, you know, is not a bad interruption, especially if he had had the, the dragon card. I don't know, like, what Dragon Link is running too much this lately. There was only one person at our local plan dragon link anymore and he um he was a tom scammer no <laughs> so yeah our turn starts off we're gonna special summon out the stratos you know i hate to normal summon it but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do then i'm gonna rota because i wanted to i'm like i'm trying to see when he's gonna eventually like try to activate his little person but you know for extenders inside of this deck i am running three instant fusions and then as you can see the fire flint lady also so even if i have to normal summon stratos in some situations i usually should have some kind of extender in order to be able to go ahead and make my soul day play so you know we get the fire flint lady out there we're going to go ahead and a soul day and his effect happens on summon to go ahead and add that warrior and I do believe I go ahead and add my backup war here, which is the Neo Space Connector. Usually if I, you know, don't have him, I just go ahead and open up and add him with a soul day's effect in case, you know, I don't end up being able to end the game on this turn. So then we're going to soul day effect. We're going to send the two equip cards. We're going to send the Durandor killers because I already used the Fire Flint Lady and the Divine Sword, which I don't think there was ever really any point where I actually activated the effect of Divine Sword to add it to my hand. So we're going to go ahead and bring out the Cross Keeper. We're going to do things right this time. We're going to activate the Cross Keeper's effect to Special Summon Spirit of Neos. We are going to actually get our Spirit of Neos' effect this turn. He's asking about it he's gonna go ahead and pitch elvish the golden lord so that's his adventure elvish dragon link so you know i think typically he sends um the field spell or something like that in order to bring back his elvish monster which is you know something i think he kind of mentioned so it won't stop spirit of neos from getting his effect so i'm still going to add a spell or trap card here i'm gonna go ahead and add the instant contact so that I can go ahead and get another monster out on board. Like I don't want to don't want to just leave a soul day out there. So we're gonna instant contact here because I think I ended up messing up. This is another mess up right here. I bring out the Neo Space Dolphin thing, which I actually have um favorite contact in my hand and I should have brought out the flame wingman so that I could favorite contact into my shining neos wingman and after I think like towards the end of this like whatever I end up deciding to do I go ahead and get the unicorn I'm gonna activate the unicorn's effect go ahead and pitch the shadow mist so that I can put the dragon ravine back into his back into his deck so that he can't be activating it next turn or, you know, and then sending it to special summon the Eldritch Golden Lord or whatever. And we're going to go ahead and add Stratos off of Shadow Miss Effect. And this is, I think, the point where I realized, and I was going to ask if it was okay to take it back, but I was just like, forget it. I don't want him to think that I'm, like, cheating or doing anything like that. So I decide just to <laughs> leave it off in there. And I was just like, ah, I really messed up this turn. So, yeah, you know, that's the thing about playing new deck with new ideas and stuff is that you're going to make play mistakes. But after that, all you can do is the best, try to do the best you can. We got the Neos fusion there. So that's how I was going to get the Neos into the graveyard and, you know, just missed out on that flame wing man being off in there. And it's crazy because I think like later on or during his turn on his turn, he actually asked to take something back and I go ahead and let him. And then I was thinking to myself, like, damn, I should have asked if I could take my move back. But, you know, it's all good. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and draw two here with the cross keepers effect and then put one back to the bottom. It looks like I drew another spirit of Neo. So I'm going to go ahead and put one to the bottom and you know with neos you get that effect that you can add a spell or trap card when he destroys a monster by you know attacking when he destroys a monster by battle and i believe sends it to the graveyard you can go ahead and add one so you know go ahead and add the favorite contact here and then we're gonna attack with the unicorn and i'm going to set set the favorite contact for next turn just in case i really need to work on my extra deck i'm probably going to try this 
again just to see if I can get it to work to be more consistent. I actually liked it, especially with the Neo Space Connector off in there. It just made it really easy to guarantee that I had Crosskeeper out there if they didn't have a hand trap or something to stop it. But with bringing out the Dolphin and they know it, they're usually going to try to ash it or hand trap the Neo's Connector because... You know that once I discard a card, if they do have something like Ash or, you know, anything outside of Imperm, then I'm going to get rid of it. So, yeah. And then I just extend with either Instant Contact or Fire Flint Lady. And, you know, we got our two Warriors. We got a Soul Day and it's going down. So he's going to go ahead and Synchro Summon out the Boil Load. And he puts the, the Zero Attack Link Monster down there. So he's not getting an attack boost. So his Boil Load is actually not strong enough to attack over the Brave Neos. And because I believe he's at 3,000 right now. And so, you know, he asked if he can take it back and put the Romulus there. So I go ahead and let him. And so that would allow him to attack the Brave Neos. But we're going to go ahead and activate Spirit of Neos' effect on Attack Declaration. And he will negate it. And then I will go ahead and Neos Fusion to keep the Brave Neos from being destroyed. So, yeah, that was the plan. You know, I let him negate the Spirit of Neos. He only gets one negate per turn. That way I can use the Neos Fusion effect to keep my Brave Neos out on the board. And, you know, the thing is, he's still stronger, but all I need to do is normal summon something and, you know, put anything out on the board and I can make access code talker and just, you know, pretty much put an end to this game right here. Like, all the set it and then, you know, it's a very fun deck. It seemed a lot more consistent with the way I built it. Actually, that Neo, the Engage Neo space, the times that I drew it, I didn't actually, don't think I actually ended up using it. It was just always better for me to use the Neo's connector or use my warrior part of my engine in order to do what I needed to do. So we're going to go ahead and summon Stratos, use Stratos effect to go ahead. And I was trying to bait out the negate. So, yeah, he doesn't, I guess he gets to keep his counter, I think he was saying, but, like, at this point, I really didn't matter, I don't know, I don't remember if it gets to keep his counter or not, if y'all know, just let me know, that way, you know, but I'm not gonna call for a judge or anything like that, because I pretty much have this game in the bag, we're gonna go ahead and link summon with those two, and make the access code talker, we're gonna activate his effect, dang, what did I just get paid for? Does he pay for stripping? No. <laughs> Somebody had asked because they, they needed a dollar to get a soda. And yeah, the access code talker there and the Neos there, you know, it's a pretty much enough to finish him off. And yeah, so we got that game. Cosmos Neos deck, you know, it was pretty good. Like I said, I was one win away from top eight, which would probably be the next video that I upload. And y'all see the mistake that I made. It ended up costing me game three. Yeah, against a crazy deck. So it is what it is. I want to say appreciate all y'all for watching. And I will catch y'all on the next video. Ain't nobody messing with the mask hero king again. Mask off, now you see that a hero lives. I pay half and you ask, but I'm winning games. There ain't another hero that surpasses me.